Hello everybody, welcome back. It's been a while since we've talked, you and me. I hope you're doing well. This is a completely unscripted, unplanned update video compared to the past video where obviously it was very planned and it was more satirical. I thought that I would finally pop on here and uh, give you a more factual update of what has been going on because uh, if you haven't noticed, I haven't probably been I haven't properly been posting since I think November of last year. I had a small series going on where I was reacting to the past travel videos. Uh, I actually had the next episode filmed back at the Airbnb, but things then went a little not good <laughs> and I just I just didn't want to film anything anymore for a little while and uh, here comes my cat. Oh, I'm sure you've missed Mr. Patchy as well. Yes, I am that person that just, you know, pretends that their cat really wants to be on camera. So yes, in November, uh, if you have been following me, you'll know that at that point I was in an Airbnb because things at home weren't, weren't going so well and there was a possibility of the borders reopening and then my grandmother passed away early in November which was very hard for myself and for my family. We were all very close. My grandmother was really this key figure in me and my family's lives. So her passing away was something that we all needed to process and take time to deal with. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much to say about that. Um, death is a part of life. And this was my very first uh, death of a person that was really close to me so I definitely needed some time to to process it but also the thing that really pulled me away from YouTube <laughs> completely uh, was the fact that the borders did open very briefly again and closed in a very short period of time again and it just completely drove me over the edge I didn't want anything to do with Japan for a little while, which is why I didn't continue with my little reaction series video. Like I said, I had already pre-filmed the next episode, but I couldn't even bring myself to edit it and like have to rewatch everything. So um, I was, again, it, I think it was pretty much the same as last time, about 10 days away from having to leave. I had like rushed back from the Airbnb back into this attic where I'm still living at my mother's and her husband's place. Uh, I had rushed back with the intention of only staying a few days, like maybe just over a week. Okay, he wants to be on my lap, but... <laughs> Sit. Cushy, cushy. Cushy, baby. Cushy. Voilà, j'ai bien. I think that's the only order he knows is kushi <laughs> to lie down. Anyway, um, yeah, so I had rushed back here uh, to get everything back, in, everything in order because there were all these measures that had been put into place, all these extra documents uh, that you had to send via, I think the school had to send it back via post or something like that. I'm not even sure, but something took a very long time. Whereas this time round, everything can be done uh, digitally via via internet. So um, I'm mixing everything up again. That's just how my unscripted videos goes. Uh, my brain just goes all over the place, which is why they're fun to film, but not fun to edit. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I was just so close to going again and then um, I was probably one of the first persons that was going to be able to go since there, had, there was a specific priority order and I had my documents well I had been waiting the longest so I had priority so obviously I got everything ready again and booked my ticket again and uh, yeah I didn't get to go so obviously we were all penalized by this borders opening and closing but since I was one of the first ones who was allowed to poten pot potentially potentially go. I had obviously gotten all my stuff together, I had my plane ticket, I was starting to pack and everything, bought all the supplies again like <laughs> to go to Japan and uh, so I was I feel like I was kind of like double penalized because I had already bought everything and you know I don't want to complain everybody was in the same boat in the end anyway uh, I have one plane ticket re uh, partially refunded one that the, another airline is refusing to refund I'm 
I posted a complaint. It's a whole mess. <laughs> Which is not fun, not fun at all, especially now uh, that I'm having to buy a third plane ticket and it's kind of like I could use that past money for the other thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is an update, not a ramble video. <sighs> Should have silenced my phone, sorry. So yeah, that's basically what happened. I think it, did the borders close early December or, or late November? I don't remember, but it closed. I remember that when it closed, uh, I was asked to do interviews, but I was just completely... I can't even explain the state of mind I was in. I was like, I think it was like total despair. Like I couldn't, I was, I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not like I was thinking, oh, poor me, like, woe is me. Like, it was just too much. It had already been almost two years. I was being like, I had the the death of my grandmother and the Airbnb and having to move around all the time and then maybe having to move to Japan and I was already like emotionally like burned out and then this on top of everything. I was just, I was completely, completely done. Um, yeah, I it was like totally sit on the floor and cry and I, could, I just couldn't like <laughs> do anything else to be honest so after that I just had to put everything to do with Japan aside because it kept triggering me and I couldn't even watch the videos that I really liked you know, like Charlotte in Japan or Abroad in Japan or Dogen um, those are the ones that come to mind. I mean, there are many, many more, but I couldn't even bring myself to watch any, any like, J vloggers or J YouTubers because it's everything to do with Japan just triggered me. I stopped studying Japanese for a long while. Um, yeah, I think that's the update up till now. Uh, obviously, I'm still in the attic. Things are all right, but they're not great. I still feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Like, I'm... It's not like I'm not welcome here, but, like, I'm... Like... It'd be better if I wasn't here, if you know what I mean. And being in that situation for a long time isn't great. It's not a great feeling. So I have been looking into apartments for quite a few months now. I think ever uh, since January, I think I've been looking for apartments. Had found one great apartment that um, I couldn't... Well, I still can't really afford. But I would have probably taken it and tried to make things work. I um, no, it's not like the best... <laughs> solution but that's how much I wanted to move out of here um, and uh, it was just a great solution altogether to just take that place and try and make things work um, maybe like I don't know get another job or something I, I, I don't know oh that's another update I haven't told you guys I have another part-time job which I'm going to be taking with me in Japan, if I get if I get to go, that's like the thing I'm getting at. I'm sorry, I'm taking like so many detours, but it's better if I go in chronological order. Uh, but I do have another part-time job. I am editing videos for other people now. Uh, it has been keeping me not like completely afloat, but like more afloat than I used to be because you know it was just getting out of out of control. Waiting like two years for a country to open without a proper job was just like impossible so I'm happy to have like that um, that job on the side that I'm hopefully going to be able to continue in Japan if I get to go so now I guess this is the main update because I mean that's what you've been waiting for and I think I've done all the background stuff like leading up till now so I had that apartment lined up but there was the possibility yes baby <laughs> <laughs> there was the possibility that the borders were going to reopen so again I was like I don't know what to do that was a weird sound with my throat I don't know what to do um, I don't know which one to take which one I can like really I want to make a, a decision and then not change my mind so uh, what I did was I told myself that if there was no update by the end of February um, I would take the apartment because this this was getting ridiculous. I had already told that I told myself that I was done, and then I was being reeled back in by this possibility of the borders reopening, and 
um, I wanted to give a reply to that person who was willing to help me out with this apartment, which was a real, like I said, a really good deal, not necessarily financially, but for all kinds of reasons, it would have been a good deal for me to take that place in Brussels. I don't think I told, I said that, maybe in the last video. Um, so, and if February rolls around and they say the borders are going to open on the 1st of March, so again, like, <laughs> it's not giving me like a clear cut, um, choice like this is the one you need to pick it really felt like on the cusp of my decision like uh time limit and it was just like you kind of you can choose whichever you want just just pick one so um i guess i kind of passively picked japan i just continued with the the documents uh all the admin process stuff i just kept sending my stuff in and getting my stuff back and it was a kind of a big race especially <laughs> these past few weeks to get everything in order and to like run to get a, an embassy appointment which I had this morning actually to give my documentation and ask for a visa so passively kind of I didn't really make a decision I just kind of went with the flow and um, I tried to see where it would lead me this is kind of the third time <laughs> that I'm doing all of this so I, I'm kind of feeling numb and I kind of don't realize that this is maybe going to happen that maybe this is real that maybe at the end of this month I could be in Japan because last time I also had my visa and I had everything ready and I was ready to go and then the pandemic happened and right now you guys know the state of the world uh, like flights are being rerouted to not fly over Russian airspace and stuff like that it's still like things can still happen so even though right now I'm kind of choosing Japan and I'm putting things uh, I mean I'm putting things together and I'm working towards that so that it can happen <laughs> Like I'm booking things, I'm not leaving things to the last, last minute or anything. I'm, I'm booking things, I'm paying for things, I'm reserving things. But I'm terrified that the same thing is going to happen. Like a new variant or like this potential, this potential cold war that's happening. Um, yeah, I think I'll only trust it once I'm out of immigration on the other side, to be honest, which is crazy. But don't worry, I told like the other person that I, I probably won't be able to take the apartment, but like I know this person, so uh, we can talk it out and we can see like if I come back or whenever I come back, if that apartment is still available or whatever. We never know what's going to happen. Clearly things can change from week to week at the moment. Um, I think... I'm talking super fast because I don't want this video to take forever. I don't want to ramble too much. <laughs> Even though I like talking to a camera all by myself, I know editing is going to suck. So I'm hoping that I said the things I wanted to say for this quick update um, of where I've been, what's happening. Like, I went to the embassy this morning. Um, I'm probably gonna get my visa next week and I, I know I should be more excited I'm seeing all these people on Twitter who have also been waiting a very long time like oh my god it's really happening this time I'm getting my visa and inside I'm like I've already went I've, I've gone through all of this already I, I, I had my excitement back in 2020 I had my visa I had my paperwork and then um, yeah I, <laughs> I feel so like jaded i not bitter but jaded like i've been a <laughs> i've been around the block <laughs> i don't know it's a weird thing to say but basically in short this these are the things i've gone through i haven't mentioned the health scare that i've had but um yeah i had a weird thing come up in a in a blood test i needed an mri to check on <laughs> that was really crazy as well um but yeah November up till now I know it's been a while since I've uploaded it's been a lot 
um, and I can't guarantee a regular uh, upload schedule anytime soon. I am being as regular as I can with things like Patreon, trying to post more on Instagram, give updates on my stories and on Twitter. Um, I am, like I mentioned, I'm working for my clients on the regular, uh, so that takes up more of my time than it used to. Um, I I still I don't like the fire is not as strong as it was the first time around where I was like I'm gonna film everything and YouTube is gonna be like a big part of this trip. I'm not saying it's not. It's just that the flame is like a little candle that I'm trying to keep alive right now. So I don't want to make any big promises yet. Sure, I would really, really love to document my experience with living in Japan as much as I want. But also I know that the reality is I don't know how it's going to be. I'm going to have school, I'm going to have to juggle school, my job and everything that comes with moving to a brand new country. So, of course, I'm sure my stories on Instagram will be filled with Japan stuff. Uh, but when it comes to, to videos, I think those will be a little more like on the sporadic side. Uh, they'll come out when they come out until I find my footing, etc, etc. I feel like I started the video like sitting up straight and at the end I was just like, I was just um, slouched in the couch. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go drink my tea, I'm gonna reply to those messages and I'm gonna get back to work editing videos for other people and hopefully I'll edit this one two so it comes out this week brainstorming for myself anyway i hope you guys are well i, I could chat with you all day but <laughs> maybe i should just go live on on some platform maybe that way i can just chat and nothing about oh i have to edit all of this in a few minutes uh, or in the future anyway i hope you're well and uh it may be happening this time fingers crossed I do have my plane ticket and I've also created a tip jar to help me uh, pay it because like I said, I'm still trying to get the refunds from the previous plane ticket so I could really use some extra, some extra help with this one. So I'll uh, link it below if you wish to help. I know that a lot of people are going through the same thing moving abroad, like finally going to the Japan, to the Japan, to Japan, and there's also a whole friggin war going on. So I definitely feel a little self-conscious having this tip jar to help out with a flight, but every little helps and uh, I could really use a little bit of a nudge with this one, seeing everything has happened these past two years. So thank you in advance and thank you to everyone who have already uh, tipped into my little strawberry jar I'm so so grateful like you can't even possibly imagine I can I can't find any words to explain how grateful I am so I'll I'm sure I'll talk to you guys very soon it doesn't matter where it is on which platform but We'll keep in touch and um, fingers crossed that this this time, third time is third time is the charm and um, that I'll be able to vlog in Japan soon because that sounds super exciting even if I don't believe in it yet. <laughs> I'll word you all. Bye!